You know, we may be, we may be facing uh, hardships in life. Every day is a battle. Uh, I don't know what you're going through right now, but I know that in the end, our praises, His praises will ever be on our lips. Amen. His praises will ever be in our lips. And right now, just offer to God to surrender to Him. Just focus on His presence today. As we welcome Him, as we welcome His Holy Spirit right now. Ever be 
worship you, oh God. Oh. You are worthy.
things that you have done and all the things that you are going to do and about to do in our lives, in this city, in this church, in this nation, God. Can't go. 
Po ang uh, sermon karon is a bit um, challenging no because will be I'll be covering prophecy prophecy ang akong iwali karon no from the book of Daniel from Matthew 24 so pag intercede mo din ha no as I <laughs> as I share that I may be able to present this as clearly as possible let's pray no lord we commit to you our time I commit to you, your people, everyone listening, listening in sa online service. I pray these uh, passages of the Old Testament prophecy will speak to our heart 
and find relevance to our situation today. Nagampo ako, Lord, that you, we be given depth of insight and that our, the eyes of our spirits be opened to the reality of your purpose being unfolded in history. Lord, we're living in a time, we're living in the end times, and we're living in the time wherein many of things prophesied about in the scripture will uh, begin to be fulfilled, O oh Lord. We are living in a very critical time in human history. We may even be the generation that will see your arrival, Lord Jesus, and the arrival of your kingdom on the earth. So Lord, just allow us to capture these things nga dili lang naman namo sila dawaton as information but these things may it become may they become worldview beliefs embedded deep in our hearts oh lord salamat lord holy spirit we ask you to be our teacher today guide me as i share in jesus name amen okay the son of man no that's what i'm going to be sharing about uh, we'll be looking at the events leading up to his arrival. No, ako ni siyang break up into two parts, no, because it would be too long, no, to complete this today. So next time na po, i continue na ako ni. Okay, ready na mo? <laughs> okay. So our text today will be reading from Daniel 7, uh, Daniel 9, Daniel 12, and Matthew. Uh, 24, no? Mga selected passages from these uh, verses. So let's begin in Daniel 7. No? Kindly follow, no? Sa inyong Bible. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, no? Take note of that name. Kay si King Belshazzar is the last king of Babylon. No? It was Belshazzar that was conquered by Darius the Mede. And the kingdom, uh, the kingdom of Babylon was turned over no, to the Persians. He turned over sila sa Ginoo. Belshazzar was the last king. Siya to'y nakakita sa vision on the wall. Mene, mene, tekel up her, up, up her sin. No, Nakadumdumuana. And it was Daniel who interpreted the vision on the wall. No, And that very night, Darius the Mede no, invaded and the kingdom of Belshazzar fell to the Persians. Okay, so take note. Kining a vision ni Daniel was seen by him in the first year ni Belshazzar. We do not know how, Bel how long Belshazzar reigned in Babylon, pero this was seen by Daniel sa young first year. No, take note of that. Daniel had a dream and visions passed through his mind as he was lying in bed. He wrote down the substance of his dream. Now, wala na tayo time to cover the dream, pero this is the dream of the different kinds of beasts, animals. No? Katong uh, lion nga na wings of an eagle. Then katong bear that has three bones sa iyang mouth. No? Then katong leopard that has four wings. We're just gonna be zooming in on the last beast no? representing Rom the Roman Empire. No kini, verse 7. After that, in my vision at night, I looked, and there before me was a fourth beast, terrifying and frightening and powerful. It had large iron teeth. It crushed and devoured its victims and trampled underfoot whatever was left. It was different from all the former beasts, and it had ten horns. No? So take note. While I was thinking about the horns, katong ten, there before me was another horn. No, another horn came out. A little one. No, ang tawag ni sa Daniel, the little horn. Very important, no? Take note. Uh, which came up among them. And three of the first horns were uprooted before it. This horn, no, katong little horn, had eyes like the eyes of a human being and a mouth that spoke boastfully. And as I looked, no, so on the earth, the kingdoms were being set up. Pero in heaven, something else is happening. No, as I looked, thrones were set in place. And the Ancient of Days, who is the Ancient of Days? This is God the Father. 
the ancient of days took his seat. No, this is judgment day. No, Daniel was teletransported no, to the end times no, on judgment day. He saw no, God the Father seated on his throne. No, his clothing was as white as snow and the hair of his head was white like wool. His throne was flaming with fire and its wheels were all ablaze. No, so the same picture was seen by Ezekiel, no, ng ang throne of God, full of fire, grabbing ang mga grabbing ang majesty, pero it had wheels, no, na iligid <laughs> ang throne. Kuya po ning a description, no. Pero uh, Daniel and Ezekiel saw the same uh, kuan image. Okay? Next, padayon ta, verse 10, a river of fire was flowing coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands of angels no, attended him. 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. Okay, judgment day lagi. Books were opened, including the book of life siguro. No? So Daniel saw that. And John in Revelation 20 gives us the same picture again. Then I continued to watch because of the boastful words the horn was speaking. I kept looking until the beast was slain and its body destroyed and thrown into the blazing fire. The other beasts have been stripped of their authority but were allowed to live for a period of time. Okay? And then, we'll, uh, and then verse 13, In my vision at night, I looked and there before me was one like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the ancient of days and was led into his presence. Ang son of man, he was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away. And his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Now, sa last sermon na ko ani, no, you have to check that, review that as well. No, who is the son of man that Daniel saw who was given authority and who was given kingship? Kinsani? Jesus Christ. No, Daniel saw that. And Jesus in the New Testament claimed no, that he is the son of man that Daniel saw in his vision here in Daniel 7. No, so, kanang term na son of man which is also the favorite title of Jesus for himself, kana nga title comes from this passage, no? Daniel 7.14, no? uh, 7.13, no? din na nagikan, and Daniel 7, 7.14. Okay? Si Jesus na. Okay? And then, mujamp lang ta, no? to dakuan, because we're following just the last kingdom. No? Then I wanted to know the meaning of the fourth beast. We know from history nga mauni ang Roman Empire, no, which was different from all the others and most terrifying with its iron teeth and bronze claws. The beast that crushed and devoured its victims and trampled underfoot whatever was left. I also wanted to know about the ten horns on its head and about the other horn, no, especially katung little horn that came up, before which three of them fell. The horn that looked more imposing than uh, the others. And it that had eyes and a mouth that spoke boastfully. Okay, as I watched, Katunga Horn was waging war against the holy people and defeating them. Now, I'll, I'd like to tell you now, no, Ngakining Little Horn is the Antichrist. Okay, Mauni siyang Antichrist. Take note, waging war against the saints and defeating them. No, the Antichrist will overpower us no, in the last days. Okay, until the ancient of days came and pronounced judgment in favor of the holy people of the Most High. And the time came when they possessed the kingdom. No, there will be ultimate triumph and we will uh, inherit the kingdom. Okay, so ta? Verse 23, He gave me this explanation. The fourth beast is a fourth kingdom that will appear on earth. It will be different from all the other kingdoms and will devour the whole earth, trampling it down and crushing it. Ten horns are ten kings who will come from this kingdom. After them, another king will arise, different from the earlier ones. He will subdue three kings. Okay, Monahimoni Antichrist. Later, no. Later on in history, we will <laughs> we will see the fulfillment of this. He will speak against the Most High, 
and oppress His holy people and try to change the set times and laws. Maghimu siya new world order. He will change the laws and the times. Okay? So mauna ang power sa Antichrist. No? The holy people will be delivered into His hands. Take note. For a time, times, and half a time. What does that mean? No? Maka-encounter gani mo, Ana. Time, times, and half a time. It means for a year, two years, and half a year. Meaning, three and a half years. No? Tagaan ang Antichrist of power over us for three and a half years during the tribulation. Take note. But the court will sit and his power will be taken away and completely destroyed forever. Then the sovereignty, power, and greatness of the kingdoms under heaven will be handed over to the, dili lang sa son of man, it will also be handed to the holy people of the Most High. So kita, we will inherit also the kingdom. Jesus is the head of our kingdom. We will also inherit the kingdom. We will rule and reign with him. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom and all rulers will worship and obey him. Powerful, no? Wow, powerful. No, just allow that to flood your minds no okay reality ni siya mao ni ang mahitabo no in the future okay dili ni fairy tale this is not fiction this is reality mga igsoon no this ought to become a world view nato okay so mao ni no ang ato ang din hita we're, we're reading chapter 7 we're just focusing here di ba sa last nga beast Ako lang yung gibut, I put this chart over here to let you know that the prophecies in Daniel are all interconnected. Consistent ang mga pictures. Amazing, no? Even though Daniel and other people saw them from different periods of time. No? Kay Kining chapter 2, this was seen by Kining interpret ni Daniel sa time pa man ni Nebuchadnezzar. No? 600 BC pa na. Pero kini nakita ni niya sa time na ni Belshazzar. No more than 80 years or 90 years already passed. No, nahuma naman ani ang exile. Na finish naman ang exile ana sa time ni Belshazzar. No? So, oh sorry, wala pa. All sorry, wala pa day. Almost over na ang ang exile. No, because after Belshazzar, Darius and Cyrus king of Persia will come. Okay? So 70 years later na ni. Pero the same, no, the same ang ang imagery. If you go to the book of Revelation, the same gihapon, no? The same din he. Okay, so these are all interconnected. And you can add here Revelation chapter 13, no? The same images. Four beasts gihapon ang makitan sa Revelation 13. And the same metals will be seen. Gold, silver, bronze, and iron will also be seen in Revelation 13. And the four beasts, the same. Okay? Amazing, no? Amazing ang prophecy. Gituyo na sa ginoo so that we will be sure that these things will come to pass. Assured gid ka because it has been repeated in amazing ways no, in the Bible. No? So this is really true and will certainly be fulfilled. Amen? Okay, so... We just read seven. Basahon na to karon ang nine. Maghisgot siya about the sevens, seventy sevens. Now, kining seventy sevens talk about the timetable. Calendar na siya. Calendar. Timetable sa pag-fulfill ani. No? Because the fulfillment of this, the turning over of the empires, will take time down through history. And here in chapter 9, Daniel will write down the exact timetable. Exact to good, tagpila ka years, okay? Until the coming of Jesus Christ, no? Gi prophesy ni Daniel when Jesus exactly will arrive, okay? So din he, we look at that today, then we'll also read chapter 12 today, okay? So let's go to chapter 9. Sorry. Take note, kinsa na ang hari ani? In the first year of Darius, this is the one who conquered Belshazzar. This is the king who threw Daniel into the lion's den. Kadundo mo anang story. Okay, si Darius, siya ang regent, no? 
regent siya ni Cyrus. Cyrus at this time was in Persia. Pero Darius was sent over to take over Babylon. Okay? So Darius was the ba- so ruler, mono, who was made ruler over the Babylonian Empire. Ang iyang boss is Cyrus, king of Persia, who was at that time still in Persia. Okay? Pero sa first year ni Darius, Daniel saw this. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. So I turned to God, Lord God, and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. After verse 3 is a long prayer. No, di na nato basa hon kay taas kayo. <laughs> Kanag intercede siya nga Lord mafulfill na unta ang 70 years nga gipromise ni prophet Isaiah Jeremiah nga ang exile will be finished. Okay? Kay namatay naman ang last king of Babylon, si Darius naman ni Mid naman ni siya, no, in the in the kingdom of Persia. Okay? So ato lang tong skip and then Daniel was given an explanation and an answer no sa iyang request. Gitagaan siyang insight what will happen next. Okay? So this is it now. Angel instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. As soon as you began to pray, a word went out, which I have come to tell you, for you are highly esteemed. Amazing, no? Kuyo kays Daniel ba? Magampo lang siya, magdagandagan ang mga anghel dito sa langit. Pulba kays nga tanan. No? Immediately, as soon as kuan, a word went out, sugo na ng ginoo. Add to si Daniel. Ihatag niya minsay. Pulba kays. <laughs> Kanindot ang taging nana. Okay? Uh, therefore, consider the word and understand the vision. Now, dinhina. 77s. Okay, take note. Meaning, ang kanang 7s, meaning 7 years. Okay? Mungin ko ganig 7s, it means 7 years. No? 70 ka 7 years. Take note, ha? 70 ka 7 years are decreed for your people and your holy city to finish transgression, to put an end to sin, to atone for wickedness, to bring in everlasting righteousness. Daghaning goals, ano, no? sa 77s, written there in 24, to seal up vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy place. Okay? So, uh, padayon ta? Verse 25, know and understand this. From the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one, Gikan sa time nga isugo nga i-restore ang Jerusalem hangtod pag-abot ni Heso Kristo no the ruler there will be seven sevens huh? pito ka seven years and 62 seven 62 pod ka seven years it will be rebuilt with streets and a trench but in times of trouble after 62 sevens after the 62 sevens no <laughs> The anointed one will be put to death. So kini sa 25, makumpute, gikumpute na sa mga Bible scholars, pila na ka years according to that. Exacto gid kaayo ang prophecy ni Daniel. Noon, after the 62 sevens, ang second phase is, first phase man ang seven sevens, second phase ang 62 sevens. After the second phase, the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. Giprophesy nga mamatay si Jesus. The people of the ruler the people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary the end will come like a flood war will continue until the end and the desolations have been decreed okay ako nang i-unpack niya no guwapo kay na okay he will confirm a covenant so 7 sevens plus 62 sevens kung imo nang i-total 69 ra man ka 7 so where is the other 7 so, din hina sa verse 27, ang last nga seven, no? He, this is not Jesus, this is now in the future, no? The Antichrist, he will confirm a covenant with many for one seven, but in the middle of the seven years, he will put an end to the sacrifice and offering. And at the temple, he will set up an abomination that causes desolation. Take note of that term. Dungana na sulti. Abomination that causes desolation. No? Because Jesus will mention that later sa Matthew 24. 
until the end that is decree is poured out on him no ato nang tanawon unya okay naapa mo deha <laughs> now is ato laning agian kadali lang kaayo ang Daniel 11 no kay sa Daniel 11 verses 21 to 35 Somebody will set up an abomination that causes desolation. Kanang abomination that causes desolation, it will be fulfilled two times in the Bible, in the in Scripture. No, ang first nga fulfillment ana was fulfilled in the Old Testament times pa. Antiochus Epiphanes, no mga descendants ni Alexander the Great sa iyang kingdom, December of 168 BC. No, this happened in history. Okay, so. Antiochus Epiphanes will persecute the Jews, kill the Jews, and set up an abomination that causes desolation in their temple. No, mag-set up siya statue ni Jupiter right in the very in the holy of holies. No, so na desecrate, no, na panamastamasan ang holy of holies. Kaya nag-set up og idol dito si Antiochus Epiphanes, abomination that causes desolation. So, sa verse 21 to 35, fulfilled by Antiochus Epiphanes, pero in 36 to 45, this is now, this is not about Antiochus Epiphanes. This is about the Antichrist, who will also set up an abomination that causes desolation. Okay? So, ako nang gisulat din na para maklaro ninyo. Okay, Daniel 12. By the way, Daniel 11 continues to Daniel 12. No, So, if this is the end times, then Daniel 12 is about end times, okay? Kay sumpay raman na sila, okay? So, at that time, Michael, no, the great prince who protects your people will arise. There will be a time of great distress, such as not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. Multitudes sleep in the dust of the earth, uh, will awake, multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. But you, Daniel, roll up and seal the words of the scroll until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to increase knowledge. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there before me stood two others, one on this bank of the river, the other on the opposite bank. One of them said to the man clothed in linen who was above the waters, How long before these astonishing things are fulfilled? Kanu saan ni mani ma-fulfilled? Kanu saan magid mahuman ang istorya? No? So, nikitubag siya, the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river, lifted his right hand and his left hand toward heaven, and heard him, I heard him swear by him who lives forever, saying, It will be, kanu sa daw, unsa daw kadugay? For a time, ha? for a time, times, and half a time, or for two years, three years and a half, when the power of the holy people has been finally broken, all these things will be completed. I heard but did not understand, so I asked my Lord, what will be the outcome of all this be? Kung sa may outcome ani, he replied, Go your way, Daniel, because the words are rolled up and sealed until the time of the end. Many will be purified, made spotless, and refined, but the wicked will continue. Lakaw lang sa Daniel. Di, ka, di pa kakasabot ani. Tiko sultian lang tika nga kaning time sa persecution is a time of purification for the people of God no? and for the earth. Okay? From that time, then naghatag pa siya glaing clue, ingon niya, from the time, now take note, from the time daw, na iset up ang abomination that causes desolation in the middle, di ba? In the middle of the seven years. And there will be 1,290 days. So, giklaro yun pila ka days. So, pwede ta mag-ihap. Makadungog na ta sa news, nga giset up na ang abomination, you can begin counting 1,290 days. Dili ni siya symbolic, no literal na siya. <laughs> you will uh, magihap ka. Blessed is the one who waits for and reaches the end of 1,335 days. So, na, napagi sumpay pa na. <laughs> Another 45 days. Okay, blessed pagid ka. Kung makaabot pagid ka. No? Another 45 days. 
As for you, go your way till the end. You will rest. And then at the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. Kuya ka kaayo, no? Ang mga panagna. Now, ambak na ta sa New Testament. Matthew 24, si Jesus. Okay. <laughs> no? Okay. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, when will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? You will hear. So, daghan siyang gihatag nga signs. No? Maghatag lang kong pipila. These are the several. You will hear of wars and revolutions on every side no? from the NLT. With more rumors of war to come, do not panic or give in to your fears for the breaking apart of the world systems is destined to happen. Actually, that's already beginning to happen now. No Systems na to sa kalibutan breaking apart, breaking down because of COVID pandemic. Kuyaw ning hitabo karon. No, upheaval yun. Ang hitabo karon. But it won't yet be the end. It will still be unfolding. Nations will go to war against nations, against kingdoms. There will be terrible earthquakes. Sige, naglinog karon. Horrible epidemics. COVID. And famines in place after place. This is how the birth pains of the new age will begin. No, So, kining horrible epidemics. Missing na siya sa some manuscripts, pero found in uh, these manuscripts that are very, very authoritative. Okay? Mo na giapil na siya sa NLT. Okay. Next, because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. No, mo ni ang giwali ni Ma'am Jenny last Sunday. Okay. <laughs> But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to the nation, all nations, and then the end will come. Moni ang giingon sa Daniel 12, no? Nga those who are wise and magdala og mga tao sa kingdom, no? Makadawat og reward. So, now, verse 15. So, mag na siya sa Daniel. When you see in the holy place... Unsa daw? The abomination that causes desolation. Jesus is quoting Daniel 9, 11, and 12. Spoken of through the prophet Daniel. Let the reader understand. No, that's why ako ning giwali. Para makasabot ta. Kay gisugo ta ni Jesus nga pasabton. <laughs> Amen. Let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one go in the field, go back. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray your flight will not play, take place in winter and on the Sabbath. For then there will be a great distress. Mo nagingon sa Daniel 12, di ba? Ang atong gibasa ganina. Unequal from the beginning of the world until now, never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be shortened. At that time, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Messiah. There he is. Do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Maghimo silag mga milagro. Ayaw mo tuo. Kung muingon tuas siya sa Dabao, naghimo milagro dito. Ayaw mo tuo. Nga naman, kay ang coming sa Son of Man will be seen by everyone. It will not be localized. Nga tuwa dito, tuwa sa Dabao, tuwa dito sa kuan, <laughs> sa Kingdom of God, sa Dabao. <laughs> okay. Bisang pag maghimog bilagro, ayaw tuo. Because the coming of the Son of Man will be seen by everyone in the heavens. Okay? That's how He will come. Okay? So I have told you ahead of time. So if anyone tells you, there He is. Ayaw, ayaw tuo. Nga naman, for as the lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there's a carcass, there the vultures will gather. And then he continues, immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, stars will fall from the sky, heavenly bodies will be shaken. Hadlok, no? Kulba ni may tabo. Okay, then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. No? So, Son of Man, gini ang gamiton. Wala siya niingon, there mo appear ang my sign will appear. Wala siya ni Anna. Mayingon gini siya nga, the Son of Man. Referring to himself. Because he wants to connect himself with Daniel. Chapter 7, no? Din he. When, 
up. All the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And He will send His angels with a loud trumpet, gather His elect from the four winds, one from the end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as it twi its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that the summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it, unsa man ang it, it refers to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God or He. No, sa Greek, duha man na ang pasabot na sa Greek in the original language. It or He. Okay? It, kingdom of God or He, Jesus, the King, is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation who will see all those signs will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Dili yun mo sipyat ang pulong sa ginoo. Amen? Kahibalog yun ta. Nga kanitanan nga nahisulat mahitabo. Amen? So this should change the way we look at our life and the way we live our life today. Because we are living in the end times. Amen? Usahay makalimut ta. Kay nabisita sa pandemic, nabisita sa atong career, nabisita sa online, kanang, daghan kayo tag online meetings karon no? Nag-survive ta, daghan kayo tag concerns, usahay makalimut kita. Okay? Sumao to, ang ato ang tunan. Amen? Daghan mong nakuha sa atong gibasa, kuya no? Okay, so ako ni Ian Pakinahinay. Chronology of events. Mao ni ang dagan sa panghitabo. Ako ipakita ninyo no, ang dagan. Nagsugod ta sa Daniel 7, gisulat sa first year ni Belshazzar. Dayon Daniel 9, gisulat ni Daniel sa first year, nakita ni Daniel sa first year ni Darius the Mede. No ang Daniel 9. So, gitagna niya ang timetable sa ginoo. No? A lot of years have already passed. No? What ang kahibalo? How long? How many years passed before between 7 and 9? Daniel 7 and 9? Pero gitagna ni Daniel. The fulfillment will be fulfilled. Dugay pa. Okay? Ezra 1, first year of Cyrus, king of Persia. Okay, 539 BC. So si Darius o si Cyrus, dungan-dungan na na sila. Okay, ang book of Ezra gisulat dito sa first year ni Cyrus, king of Persia. Dungan-dungan na pagkakita ni Daniel sa iyang vision sa Daniel chapter 7. Okay, and then Daniel 10 to 12 was a vision that Daniel saw sa third year na. Three years have passed already sa time ni Cyrus no, as king of Persia. And then, years in between, not in the Bible, na yung ka king, kambises, not mentioned in the Bible. And then, Ezra 4.5 mentions Darius 1, Darius the first, 522 BC. So, layo na no, 536, 522, pila naman na ka years, ang pagitan ana. Uh, 14 years ang pagitan ana. And then, Esther, Esther 1, third year of Xerxes, husband of Esther, 482 BC. So, pila man na, uh, mga 40 years, pagyod ang ning labay. Okay? And then, Ezra 7, no, din hita nag, money ang important nga date, seventh year of Artaxerxes 1, 457 BC. So, layo na. Unsa may nahitabo din he, sa seventh year of Artaxerxes, Ezra carried the king's decree to repair Jerusalem's temple and wall. Why is that important? Because din he sa sevens, kato atong gibasa, did to magsugod ang counting no, sa 70 sevens. Din he magsugod sa 70 year of Artaxerxes, magsugod ang ihap sa 70 sevens. Okay? Nakuha ninyo ang flow? Okay? Ako nang ipakita ninyo para makita ninyo ang dagan sa istorya. Understanding the sevens, no? Kini, ato po ning, ako po ning ipasabot ninyo before tamo ato gid sa wali. Okay, so mauni ang mga sevens, no? 9.24, taman sa 9.27. 70 sevens decreed for your people, pero ang 70, gi-breakdown niya. Gi-breakdown ang 70 into three phases. Phase one is seven sevens. 
Phase 2 is 62 sevens. Ang phase 3 is 1 seven. Mo na ang breakdown ana. Okay? So akong ibuak-buak ko na to ni para maklaro ninyo. Okay? So let's focus on 24. 70 sevens are decreed for your people. Kining 70 sevens, that's, that's the overall picture of the timetable of God. Mo na overall. Okay? God's timetable is represented by sevens. Seventy. Seventy ka sevens. Seventy sevens of years. Okay? So mo na ang representations sa iyahang purpose from the time of the Son of Man hangtod sa end times. Okay? Seventy ka sevens daw ang iyaha. Okay? Kuha ninyo, mo na big picture. So beginning in 925, gipakita na ta sa breakdown. No? Breakdown. Nine sevens. Oh, seven sevens, 62 sevens, niya ang last, phase 3, katong 1 seven. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, from the time sa pag-decrease sa pag no sa 70 year ni Arta Xerxes, okay, there will be seven sevens and 62 sevens. No? So, duha ka phases, seven sevens, and 62. Pila man ang 7 sevens. I-multiply. 7 times 7, 49. 49 years na. Okay? Nya, i-multiply ni mo 62 times 7, no, 434 years na siya. Okay? Timan na. Counting began from the giving of the decree to rebuild Jerusalem. Already fulfilled, no? Humana, na-fulfill na na. Ang wala na nalang na-fulfill ka itong isa ka 7. No? Kay, gi, na-separate man to. Okay? Okay? Okay. Dayon na pa siya hat gihatag nga information unsay mahitabo after the 62 sevens sa dili pa mo abot ang 17 na pay mahitabo mo na ni gi, gi detail niya after daw sa 62 sevens the anointed one will be put to death mamatay daw si Jesus Christ okay death of Jesus Christ pagkahuman na ay ruler nga mo abot will destroy the city and sanctuary fulfilled pod Destruction of Jerusalem by, by Emperor Titus in 70 AD. Na-fulfill po na. And then war will continue until the end times. Desolations have been decreased. So na a long period until the end times. Kaya wa pa man nahuman ang seven sevens. Ang katong last phase, wa pa man niabot. Nakuha ninyo? Aha naman ta karon. Dito na ta dool sa seven sevens. Dool na ta. Okay? So ayaw kalimot nga hapit na mo balik ang Ginoo ay lagi ka busy ka ayo ba ayo kalimti ang Ginoo kay hapit na mo abot okay so mo na ni 27 sorry 27 no mo na ni ang last nga 7 kining he din he is the antichrist third phase 17 this is the future and talks about the coming of the antichrist in the end times no maghimo daw siya og covenant for seven years, pero i-break niya ang covenant in the middle of the seven. Na a major shift in the middle sa three and a half years. Okay? Take note, ha? Kinsa na? Antichrist. Okay. So, mauni ang iyahang timetable, no? Represented by 77s. Mauni ang breakdown. Uh, 49 years, phase 1, 43, 4 years, phase 2, phase 3 is 7 years. Ang middle sa 7 years, uh, ma mabuak. Okay. Now, ako pa ning appeal because you will encounter this a lot, no? Sa Daniel o sa Revelation. Kanang 3 and a half years is, kanang is, it is expressed in different ways, No? Ang three and a half years could be is expressed as middle of the seven. Okay? Naanay siya sa Daniel 9.27. Or, i-express po na siya as time, times, and half a time. No? 7.25 and Daniel 12.7. Dito sa Revelation, kanang three and a half, ang tawagan na dito, 42 months. 42 months of 30 days. Ha? Take note. 42 times 30. I-compute ninyo na. Ang ang Total ana is 1,260 days. No, mauna siya sa Revelation. 42 months or 1,260 days, 3 and a half years gihapon na. Kuha ninyo? Okay, so mauna ha? Ako nang ipasabot. Ngayon man si Jesus nga ipasabot. <laughs> so, ipasabot ta mo. Okay. So, 
Now, kumana ta sa atong introduction, no? <laughs> oh, ay mo kabalaka kay putlon man ako ni. <laughs> Tabalo ko nga taas na. <laughs> God's calendar is precise and consistent. Amen? Amen ba? Precise. Consistent ang ihang mga images. So kung precise gani ang prophecy, consistent gani siya, it will give us great assurance nga mahitabo gid siya. No? And it will assure us that in the end, we will triumph in Christ. Okay? So God's calendar is precise and consistent. No? So mauni atong giingon diri. Moment to, 49 years, 434 years. Nahitabo gid ni in history. No, ako ipakita ninyo no, giunsa na pagkahitabo. So dinhi, mom dinhi man to nagsugod no sa katong pag ah, dinhi ta nagsugod sa Ezra 7 no, katong pag declare nga i-repair. Dinhi nagsugod ang counting, di ba? 49 sevens daw na fulfill ba na? Yes, it was fulfilled exactly. Because it took Ezra and Nehemiah 49 years to rebuild Jerusalem and its walls. No, history will show you na 49 years nila nagihimo. Amazing, no? Na-fulfill exactly ang phase 1. Now, ang next is, unsa to? Sunod? 434 years. No? After aning 49 years, no? So, giihap na sa mga Bible scholars, no? Gikan sa pag-rebuild sa Jerusalem, hangtod sa ministry ni Jesus Christ, Gikan na siya sa 408 BC hangtod sa 27 AD. Exactly 434 years as Daniel prophesied. Amazing, no? Kano sa man? Kano may hanaw ni Daniel? Kano, kano nakabaluman siya, na? Nga it was fulfilled centuries later pa man. Pero na-fulfilled siya exactly. No? 27 AD pa yun. Unya, three years man ang ministry ni Jesus no di crucify man siya on AD 30 mao man ay atong nahibaw-an nga date sa pagkamatay ni Jesus 30 AD eksakto gid siya no nga 30 AD niya niingon dito nga pagkahuman daw sa 62 sevens unsa daw mahitabo mamatay daw siya di ba kuyaw no pagpakana to ang Ginoo oh mo na amaze na amazing amazing exactly nahuman ang two faces Seven sevens and sixty-two sevens. Nanalay na bilin, one seven. <laughs> Wala pa na Okay? Great tribulation. Cleansing and purifying. Unsa daw mahitabo diri? Aning great tribulation? Inun sa Daniel 12. So nag prophesy si Daniel sa Daniel 12. There will be cleansing and purifying. Okay? Grabe ni, ma-purify yun. Ang dili tinuod magtutuo ni Jesus, i-renounce ginya iyang faith rather than die. Okay? So magbantay ta igsuon basig maabtan ta ni. No, we will be purified daghan, daghan nga naa sa church nga ma-shaken gyud ang ilang faith nga unsa man gini, unsa man alagad bagid ko sa Ginoo or dili willing bagid ko magpakamatay para sa akong faith. Okay? Purifying Pagkahuman ana, gitag na niya nga there will be resurrection. No? Your name will be listed in the book of life. You will arise and be resurrected. Amen? Muna mahitabo. Pagkahuman, yung pag dito, there will be rewarding. No? Take note. Kasi si Jesus nag-mention na ni. No? Those who are wise. Now sa Hebrew, kanang those who are wise, doon na siya lain nga shade of meaning. It also means those who impart wisdom. Katung mag-preach sa pulong sa ginoo will shine like brightness of the heavens and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Jesus said that. No? And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. Okay? Kung ning apil ka na, nag-preach po ka, then apil ka ani sa mga wise. Pero kung sige ka kagsimba, wag ka nag-apil aning pag-preach sa gospel, Basig, wa ka na ng wise. So, klaro hagyod, na nag-share gi ka sa gospel, kay basin di ka maapil aning mga wise. Okay? Kay gisugo kita ni Jesus, nga muwali kita sa maing balita. Okay? Until the end. Okay? Muna yung giingon sa Matthew 24. Kuha ninyo? 
Okay. So, kay klaro man ang iyang kalendar, klaro po ang iyang mga pahimangno, klaro po ang iyang judgments. Okay? God's timetable is precise and consistent. Amen? We can rely on it. And we are assured by it. Amen? Amen ba? <laughs> okay. So, mauni, no? Klaro ka ayo. Consistent. Chapter 2, consistent. Consistent ginatanan. Consistent. And, kanang precise. Ako na nang escape. mo. Stop na ko dere. Abantin ako. <laughs> okay. Di hata mo continue. To be continued. Amen. Next time, ang challenge na ko sa inyo, karon mga Igzon. Do not lose vision today. Amen, Igzon? Ayaw ka lose of vision, Igzon. Please. Do not allow the pandemic, do not allow your pursuits to cause you to forget the Son of Man and of God's purpose unfolding in history. Ayaw yung kalimot, Igzon. Delikado giyod, no? Prophecy is meant to give us vision continually. That's why we need prophecy. No prophecy will keep the vision alive. Amen. So ayaw yung iyalaw ang pandemya, ang imong paningkamot, ang imong survival mode. Ayaw igsoon. No ayaw kalimot. No God's purpose are precise and consistent, and they should assure you. Number four, basahon na tugdungan. One, two, three. Participate in the kingdom. By sharing the gospel of the kingdom. Amen? Amen. To be continued, mga igsoon. Hallelujah. Lord, salamat kaayo sa imong gihatag na mga kahigayunan. Pag-present ni ining challenging ang mga passages. Thank you for insight. I pray a blessing upon your people. I pray kining a prophecy will burn in their hearts, in their minds, and in their spirits, Lord. Burn like a flame that will not die and propel them, urge them, O oh Lord, to move forward in participation sa imuhang purpose, Ginoo. Lord, help us not to forget you, not to forget your purposes. Help us, Lord, give us the grace to always participate in the kingdom and in the preaching of the good news. Tagaimig mga opportunities, nga makaablimig mga Bible studies, makaablim, makakashare me sa among mga amigo, makaorganize me og mga Bible studies. Lord, tagbangi mi nga makaablimig mga simbahan sa lain-lain nga mga barangay. Oh God, tabangi mi nga makashare me sa mga youth. Oh Lord, in Jesus name.